After being closed for nearly two weeks because of the tension and conflict at the nearby Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, Sami al-Sawaf waits anxiously for the midday rush at his bakery in East Jerusalem's Old City. He's the third generation Palestinian to run the shop. In his 40 years at the bakery, he has never seen fighting in the Old City like these last few weeks. He says he lost six and a half thousand dollars. Three families live off the revenue from the bakery. We lost a lot because of the current events. Not only me, but all the shop owners in the old city of Jerusalem. We closed the shop most of the time, and when we opened it, we distributed the food for free to worshippers. Just a bit down Al-Wad Street is Saeed Koutini. His new juice stand is at risk. He's not sure if it can rebound. I had to close my shop for 14 days. I couldn't bring fruit here and lost money every day because of the situation. So I decided to close the shop until the situation calms down. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas has announced that the shop owners will be compensated for their losses. Some are getting $1,000 a month. This support is good, but not good enough. The city of Jerusalem and the old markets where traders are subjected to tremendous pressure through taxes and irregularities imposed by Israeli police increases their losses. Even after 40 years of experience, the future is unclear to Sami El sawaf I hope there will be no more events. We wish to live and work in peace. I cannot predict what will happen because the events here are accelerating. I do not know under these circumstances. I do not know. So even with the teeming streets of the old city back in business for now, reminders the tension are never far away. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Occupied East Jerusalem.